Police officials in Kansas City are not sure what's driving public concern about police response times. A city survey recent release shows a 6% drop in public satisfaction with those response times. One of the largest drops anywhere in the survey. Our Garrett Hake is looking into why and joins us live now to explain. And Jenny, on the chief of police was stumped when I spoke to him today by the findings of that survey, and he said he'd need more time to look them over before he'd talk to us on camera. Meanwhile, we took a look at 911 call response times that revealed what could be part of the problem. Police records show that in each of the first three months of 2013, police response to the most urgent types of 911 calls were slower than during the same period of 2012, improving slightly this spring. Kansas City Police say their goal is to respond to so-called priority 10 calls within seven and a half minutes. So far in 2013, they've needed an average of about 15 extra seconds to get to such calls, hitting their goal only about half the time. While the data shows our response times have remained relatively consistent over the last year, we are still always striving to improve, said Captain Ty Grant of the KCPD. Police and city officials also say calls about property crime and other non-life-threatening crimes can take longer to respond to, with limited officers and 911 operators available. A frustration you weren't shy about sharing with us on Facebook. Last week, put on hold for nearly five minutes following an intoxicated driver in the Northland that was forcing dozens of vehicles off 152 Highway, wrote Julie Valdivia. Forty minutes later, she said, still no police. And according to that survey, the police department faces some other public perception challenges as well. They lost ground in satisfaction about their visibility and neighborhoods, and still just 41% of people in Kansas City said they were satisfied overall with how the department prevents crime. Reporting live, Garrett Hake, 41 Action News.